The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 110. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of successful women finding their inner journey to self-confidence five days a week. Subscribe to our newsletter by visiting thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yapchan, and today I have a special lady who's all the way from Panama. Um, I think this is the first guest I have from, from the city of Panama, so it's pretty awesome, pretty cool. She is a business coach, and she's here to share her story on self-confidence. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Sharina Mayani. Sharina, how are you doing today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to the listeners. Yes, Sheena, thank you. I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited. So I'm a life and business coach, and I support women to really go for it in their dreams when it comes to building their own service-based business. So I help them create their coaching ba- service-based business, helping them deal with any mindset blocks, confidence blocks, money blocks that come on the way, and, and really support them in building a business that is truly aligned to themselves. I was born and brought up here in Panama City, Panama, Latin America, but actually my parents and my family's from India. So... It's interesting because I have like, you know, I'm half Panamanian, but I am very Indian. And, and yeah, that's about me. Wow, that's awesome. And that's pretty cool that, you know, your parents are from India, but they moved yeah. to, to Panama. So yes. that's interesting. That's like me, you know, I'm pure Chinese, yeah. but we were, we were. I thought born- about that, yeah. <laughs> I was born in the Philippines, but we're all pure Chinese. So it's pretty, pretty mm-hmm. cool. <laughs> yeah, so, it is. So thanks for sharing that. And, you know, what is your favorite self-confidence quote? My favorite self-confidence quote is, is one that I and myself have, like, you could say created. It's like believing in yourself. And the reason it's my favorite self-confidence quote, because I feel like confidence really comes from yourself and in the belief that you have within yourself. Because without that, there's no confidence, right? I totally agree. I mean, it has to start with you, right? If you can't believe in yourself, then you're not going to go out there and take the action that you want to, you know, live exactly. the, the dream life or you know, attain the goal that you want. So it's so true that you have to believe in yourself first. And I guess in your own words, how would you define self-confidence? Yes. So the way I define self-confidence, very similar to my quote, it's like the belief and that feeling that you can rely on yourself. And when I say yourself, it's really relying on that higher self, you know, that, that your soul, like your, 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 your soul, you know, that you can really trust. Because many of us feel that how do I believe or how do I faith or how do I feel on something? But when you truly connect with your higher self, with your soul, you have that connection, that strong, aligned connection, that's confidence. And the people who are confident are the people who are very well connected to themselves. I love that. You know, I've just recently, you know, started learning about, you know, being your, communicating with your higher self and what it's like. And, you know, it makes such a big difference because not a lot of people are aware of that, right? Everyone, you know, runs on like, the self that they have, but not knowing that there's a higher self that can give them, you know, higher beliefs about themselves and what they can do and what they they can attain. So I really love that you mentioned that. Mm. And, um, you know, what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence? Yes. Oh, my God. My life was crazy. It's funny because like nowadays people come to me and say like, oh, you're so confident. Like, I want to work with you because you excuse, like, you know, you like the energy is all about confidence. Years ago when I was like, I, Sheena, I was the person afraid to talk to people. Like I would have never even got on a phone like this, on a call like this, knowing that you're going to be sharing this with people. Like I would have never done that. Like even me going to a room full of people that I didn't know who they were, I would have never done that. I was scared. I, I used to get shivers. That was my life before. And, and, and literally having no self-confidence got me into a place where nothing was getting into my life. Like nothing was happening in my life. I was like in this little bubble stuck in my comfort zone, but stuck. So I felt stuck and I wasn't living my dreams. I wasn't the make, making the money I was make, I'm making now. I, I don't have the friendships and, and colleagues that I have currently right now. And that was really the life before discovery of self-confidence. It's only when I started connecting, as I mentioned, to my higher self to my own soul, to myself more, I realized my power. You know, I realized the value I had. And being more and more aware of that of that was what really helped me gain confidence. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I love that. And it you know, I you know, that also helped me a lot too, just connecting with my higher self. You know, Mm. just kinda kinda like communicating to to my higher self. It's like kinda like, you know, show me what I what's possible today. Show me what's what's supposed to happen today. And you know 
Some people might think it's crazy, right? I mean, when I first heard of it, I was like, this is insane, right? There's no way like this, this stuff mm. works. But, you know, when you're more in tune with it, like it really does work. It really does help you see, you know, what's possible out there. And I'm glad, you know, you're able to connect with your higher self and be able to, you know, live the life that you have now. So, I mean, what's your life like after that realization? Oh my God, my life has totally changed. Now, literally today I can get on a room with people who I don't know and like walk in confidently and, and, and in my power, you know, and people feel that. What's beautiful, I think now my life being confident, people get inspired by it and I can truly be me no matter the situation. Because, you know, for those of the pe- for people who are coming from different cultures, either Indian, Chinese, like there's so many different cultures and mindsets on that, like I noticed that sometimes in that culture, we're, we, we get programmed not to be confident. But when we are confident in ourselves and we have that power and connection within ourselves, we can walk into a room full of people who are, you could say, close-minded and not have it trigger us. And like just be us no matter what. So today, like I travel all around the world on my own before I used to get so scared of doing that. And, you know, meeting new people, not getting scared to get in touch with someone. I remember with you, Sheena, I just started talking to you because you, you called my attention. And, and that's what happens now in my life. And, and I get to connect with awesome, beautiful women and, and people from all around the world thanks to the confidence I have. Especially it's helped me a lot as well in my business, right? So, yeah. Awesome. And, yeah, you know, I, I'm the same. You know, I just, I just, you know, connect with women. And even if I don't know who they are, like, connecting, you know, just connecting with you, I just know, like, you know, there's some story that they can share to the world, like what you have, right? Exactly. And and it's true sometimes with, with the cultural, like, cultural backgrounds, right? It's especially in Asian countries. It's so, they're so, um, you know, they, they want women to not be confident, right? I mean... You know, mm. like I read so many articles, like, you know, places in China where they make people just want to marry, get get women to get married as their like sole goal and not do anything else. I mean, that's it's not, so sad. Yeah, it's the same thing. Oh, my God. It's sad. Yeah, I, it's 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 not it's it sucks, right? Because it's like <laughs> these women have so much to offer. And yet the countries that they live in are pretty much brainwashing them to just go find a man as their like life goal when there's so much out there. So, you know. You know, this was one of the reasons why I wanted to create this podcast. I really want women to see what's possible out there. So, you know, I'm Mm -hmm. glad you're able to do the same thing, inspire women out there. I believe the more we can inspire, the better the world will be. So, Sharina, Mm -hmm. if if a woman's listening to your episode, you know, she's on her own journey to self-confidence. What would be that one tip you would give to her? So the one tip I would give to her is start acting confident. You know, sometimes we, we are waiting on something external to change. Or someone tell us that, oh, you're confident for us to be confident. But it really starts inwards. And when we start acting confident, when we start telling ourselves that we are confident, things change. You know, like in Napoleon Hill, like his book, Think and Grow Rich, he has like this formula for self-confidence. And he says, recite this formula every single day. And it's a beautiful formula. And you guys, I think you can look at it on Google and stuff. It's like, I believe in myself and I know I can do it. And it's and he says, do this every single day until you get confident because confidence is the key to, to success, really, in life, for you to fulfill your purpose, for all of the things that you want to do in life. And it's just beautiful. So I, the, the advice I would give women is to start acting confident and start repeating to themselves that they are confident. I love it. And it's so true, right? I mean, you have to act. Even, even if you don't feel it, you just have to act as if you're confident because the more you can act exactly. that way the more your mind can attract to that and start thinking, yeah, I am confident. And it doesn't have to be anything crazy. It can be like little baby steps, right? I mean, even if it's just like talking to somebody you've never talked to before, I mean, that's that's something you can, you know, celebrate over because it's something you've never done before. So exactly, I really love that um, tip that you mentioned. And, you know, if, if our listeners want to get to know a little bit more about you and what you do, is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with? Yes, yes, a lot of them. So you guys can find me on Facebook at Sh- as, as Sharina Mayani. That's S H E R I N A Mayani M A Y A N I. Facebook. I'm in I'm in Periscope as well, doing really cool scopes all the time at Sharina Mayani. Instagram as well at Sharina Mayani. So those are the places. Even my website, SharinaMayani.com. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And to our listeners, if you want to connect with Sharina, you can also head on over to the thetowofselfconfidence.com and search for Sharina's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else we talked about. And I just want to thank, thank Sharina for you know taking the time to share her story and her tips and self-confidence. So thank you so much. You're welcome. You're so welcome, Sharina. Thank you for having me. 
Not a problem. It's an honor to have you on. To our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of another amazing woman's journey to self-confidence, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you for listening to another amazing episode of the Tao of Self-Confidence. Check out our resources to help you jumpstart your inner journey to self-confidence by visiting the Tao of Self-Confidence.com.